Week 3. Weatherific. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is weather? Number two, what is weather disturbance? And number three, what are the safety precautions before, during, and after a typhoon? What is weather? Are you familiar with these graphics? Can you say something about it? So based on the graphics that we have, the first graphic shows the satellite imagery of Typhoon Yolanda that hits the Philippines last November 2013. The graphic on the right side was the actual effect of the said typhoon that took 6,300 people according to NDRRMC. What is weather? Weather, it is the temporary condition of the atmosphere. It can change from time to time and may vary in different locations. What is weather systems? Weather systems, it is simply the movement of warm and cold air across the globe. These movements are known as low pressure systems and high pressure systems. As you can see in the illustration, the red arrows shows the warm current while the blue ones shows the cold current across the globe. What are the four weather systems in the Philippines? Number one, cyclone. It is a large and violent whirlwind observed in different parts of the earth. The second one is breeze. It is the winds that blow onto the shore from the sea during daytime and away from the shore during nighttime. The third one is monsoon. It is a breeze in a large scale. Here in the Philippines, we have two monsoons. The first one is the southwest monsoon or the habagat, which happens every June to September, which is often characterized by hot and humid weather and frequent rainfall. While the northeast monsoon or amihan is the weather system usually associated with cool weather during the holiday season. And last but not the least is the Intertropical Convergence Zone or the ITCZ. It is a group of clouds that bring weak to moderate rains and few thunderstorms. What is weather disturbance? Weather disturbance it is the term used to describe a change in the atmospheric conditions or weather patterns. What are the different weather disturbances? Number 1. Tropical Cyclones It is an intense, circular storm that originates over the warm tropical oceans and is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, high winds, and heavy rains. The next slides will show the classifications of tropical cyclones. What are the different classifications of tropical cyclones? Letter A. Tropical Depression or TD. A tropical cyclone with a maximum sustained winds of up to 61 kilometers per hour. This image is the satellite imagery of tropical depression Quinta that landed in the Philippine Area of Responsibility last October 24, 2020. Letter B, Tropical Storm or TS. A tropical cyclone with a maximum wind speed of 
62 to 88 kilometers per hour. This is the satellite image of Tropical Storm Pepito that landed in the Philippine Area of Responsibility last October 21, 2020. And letter C, Super Typhoon, STY, a tropical cyclone with a maximum wind speed exceeding 220 kilometers per hour. This is the satellite image of the tropical storm Yolanda with an international name Haiyan that landed in the Philippine area of responsibility last November 7, 2013. And number two, tornado. It is a small diameter column of violent air within a convective cloud in contact with the ground. What are the safety precautions before, during, and after a typhoon? Before a typhoon, the clouds are high, the air is dry and cold, relative humidity is high, the wind gently blows, and there may be scattered rains in the affected area. Before the typhoon, number one, listen to weather updates and advisories. Number two, keep watch for warnings and plans regarding evacuation in your community. Number three, check your house's condition and make necessary repairs. Number four, keep your typhoon kit in an area where you can easily get it in case of emergency. Number five, bring your pets and livestock in the designated evacuation area for animals. If not, keep them in a safe place. And number five, evacuate immediately once asked by the authorities to do so. During a typhoon, the clouds are dark and the trees sway because of strong winds. There is heavy rainfall with gusty winds. Big waves may be observed near the coastal areas. Plants and trees may be uprooted. Flash floods may occur, especially in low-lying areas. During the typhoon, number one, remain calm and stay inside your house or the evacuation center. Number two, turn off main switch for utilities like water and electricity. Number three, have a flashlight or lamp in hand in case of emergency and loss of electricity. And number four, keep away from possible dangers like glass windows. After a typhoon, the sky becomes clearer and the sun becomes visible. The wind is not too strong. There may still be scattered rain showers and flooding in the affected areas. After the typhoon, number one, before returning home, wait for authorities to announce that it is safe to go back to your area. Number two, keep away from danger. Structures with damages, fallen trees, and damaged power lines. Number three, Give way to rescue and emergency teams. Number four, be extra careful when making repairs at home. Number five, before switching the electricity on, make sure there are no wet or submerged outlets or appliances. And number six, check for possible breeding places for mosquitoes and remove rainwater. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.